Inflation and home ownership. We know that prices have increased on pretty much everything. And how does that affect uh, you as a prospective homeowner or you as a prospective investor in real estate? So is inflation preventing you from, from buying a property, uh, your first property or another property? So thanks for coming to this channel where you get up to date to the point information and tips so you can make informed decisions to reach your real estate goals. Please click like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell if you see value in this content. So inflation and home ownership. We're going to look at the statements of three experts, and then you can decide what's best in, in your uh, situation. So the first one, housing is an asset that typically grows in value. If you have cash and are expecting inflation, you want to think through where you put your money so it does not lose value. Housing is commonly looked at as a good inflation hedge, according to Ali Wolf, chief economist of Zonda. So the money that you have in the bank right now, it's going down in value because prices are going up and the interest rate on your savings account is very low. Your money is going down. So instead of having your money go down in value, you, what you can do is invest it in a property. Here's an example. You put $5,000 down on a $100,000 purchase price of a property and it increases 5% over the course of the first year you own it. It goes up to $105,000. So your $5,000 doubled in value. You got 100% growth on the initial uh, down payment that you put in. You can't get that in the bank. And so we can see here on this chart that the last uh, 70 years, property values have continued to increase. It's only one period where they did not increase, but eventually they had actually went back up and surpassed, far surpassed where they were when they uh, had gone down. Third, second, your mortgage helps stabilize your monthly housing costs. A fixed rate mortgage allows you to maintain the biggest portion of housing expenses at the same payment. Sure, property taxes will rise and other expenses may creep up, but your monthly housing payment remains the same. That's certainly not the case if you're renting. So in other words, uh, in California, we have Proposition 13, so it limits the, the growth of your property taxes. So the, the rate of your mortgage, you know, over the next 30 years, if you have a fixed rate mortgage, your property payment is going to be about the same. It'll only increase like 2, two or 3% of the taxes. It's a small portion of the mortgage payment will increase. And so, you know, your, your income is going to increase. You're, you're probably going to get a raise at your job in 30 years. But your and everything else, the price of everything else, of cars, of food, of everything else is going to go up. But your, your, your home mortgage stays the same. So that, that's actually a, a good thing is you're countering inflation by buying a property. Number three, buying protects you from rising rents. Uh, homeowners are shielded from mounting rental prices because their costs are fixed. Regardless of what's happening in the market, tangible assets like real estate get more valuable over time, which makes buying a home a good way to spend your money during inflationary times. Natalie Campisi at Forbes. So yes, the rents have increased. When, the, when there's inflation, rents also increase a lot uh, more than uh, what is when there is not as much a, a high a rate of inflation. I made a video on that previously. You could look at that in my channel history. And so homeowners are, are protected from these rental increases. They don't have to deal with the, the rent increasing. They're, they're actually paying, if after you own a property for about seven to 10 years, maybe, you know, it depends on when you, if you have the opportunity to refinance, your payment on your home mortgage is actually less than if you were to actually rent your property, typically. And so that's, that's something to consider when you're, when you're thinking about buying. And so in summary, uh, the home, property values are continually going up. And so that's one way to leverage the funds you have in the bank rather than leave it in the bank. Well, it's going down in value during inflationary periods. If you buy a property, you have a fixed mortgage. So you have the same payment from almost 30 years. It can even go down if you refinance. Uh, you're not going to have to deal with, you know, rent increases that, uh, you know, property owners are going to want to get the, the full market value of the property and that continually increases over time and you know it. And so is inflation preventing you from buying a property? Honestly, um, please click like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Honestly, there's some factors that, you know, everyone has their unique situation, the unique financial situation, their unique uh, amount of money they have ready to be able to invest in real estate. And so it's, it's up to you whether your situation is enabling you to purchase property, but it is a good way to, if you have the funds, to be able to use it wisely and have your money uh, grow and uh, you know give you some a lot of added benefits. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please click like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell if you see value in the content. Also, I invite you to check out the rest of my channel. I try to make the most informative, uh, up-to-date real estate news channel here. So please let me know what's helpful and not helpful. Any questions you have, I'll be glad to make a video to accommodate you and to serve uh, you as best I can. Thank you. Take care.